So I thought I'd try something new. Maybe I'll walk in talk. Next weekend, I'm gonna get my boat back, put it back together, get it ready to get out there on the water. A lot of you already are, I'm jealous. I'll be out there soon. It's just a little tricky trying to get the boat out of storage with COVID, it's a one at a time process, but we'll get it. It's early morning, there's boats going out already. Nobody out here on the beach, which is good. One thing to remember out here, early spring, the bugs are horrible. I might have to get rid of this. I don't know. But again, Lake Simcoe, calm as ever because I'm not out there. But like the rest of you, I'm stoked to get out there. It'd just be nice to get out on the boat. Like, there's really nothing better than that first run out there on your boat. Hopefully you got some sunshine. It definitely puts a big smile on your face. I can't wait for it. Even if I'm not going out on the boat, it's just beautiful to come out here and go for a walk. You got Gary the Goose over there honking, waking everybody up. Gary! Never know what he's doing over there. I might die. There's literally a million birds here. Yeah, Gary was mean. He flew away. He was honking at me. All right, let's get to why I came here. Let's fly the drone. Do you guys prefer the sand? The rocks. I like rocks. Rocks are neat. So hopefully you like this vlog style. That was a pro tip from a friend of mine. Thank you. You know, I'll tell you my goal with these videos is just to show you how beautiful Lake Simcoe is. Hopefully it makes you want to get out here if you haven't been. I mean, just look how beautiful it is. So once I'm out on the boat, I'm going to share some of the safety gear. Uh, a lot of it you probably don't have. I go all out. It's worth it. There's no price on safety. It's your life. So I'm going to go through some of the gear that I have, where you can buy it. Stuff that just gives you more peace of mind when you're out there, especially by yourself. I'm usually out there by myself, so 
I take every precaution that I can. It's important to get back home at the end of the day. Whew, there's gonna be nothing left of me by the time I'm done this walk. With all these new COVID restrictions, if some of the boat ramps are closed that you know about, share them down in the comments. That'll help other people get noticed before they head there, where they can go, where they can launch. Here at Sybil Point, it's open. I confirmed with them. We're not gonna close the boat ramp. So if you know of any closures, let us know. Another thing, making these videos, all I use is a GoPro with a couple accessories, obviously the drone. You can start doing this yourself. If it's something you wanna do, even if you just document your own fishing experience, it's nice to have on video at a later date and time, show your kids in the future. Making memories in these times, positive memories, are the best thing you can do right now. You get out, get some fresh air. If your boat's in the water already, get out there and enjoy it. As crummy as things seem right now, there's options to have fun. And what a perfect time when society shuts down to come out and enjoy nature. Get back to your roots. Just enjoy the small things in life. Walking through these trees, the different birds. Bit of a nature nut, but why not? So get out there and enjoy Simcoe. Okay, so here's a perfect example. Here's some of that lumber I'm talking about on the shoreline that's really dangerous to dogs, kids, even yourself. You'll see nails sticking out. I mean, that's no good for anybody. If you see something like this, I'm just gonna pick it up, throw it in the bush, out of the way, nobody gets hurt. Little things like this really count. So that's it for my rambling. These bugs are horrible. Make sure you take that into consideration when you're out here. Honestly, I'm getting attacked. This is brutal. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.